Libraries are the perfect place to go to immerse yourself in great literary works. But at the Ponca City Library, you'll be immersed in a different kind of art as well, the Matzine Art Collection. Well, we have about 200 different pieces of artwork here in the library. Um, upstairs is all the collection that was donated by Richard Gordon Matzine in 1950. Uh, below uh, us, in the lower level, we have a collection of things that were given by uh, people like Lou Wentz and some other local donors. Richard Gordon Matzine donated much of the art you'll see here. Matzine lived quite an interesting life, which led him to acquiring these pieces. Well, it's kind of an interesting collection because Mr. Matzine was a traveler. He traveled around the globe about eight or nine times and collected things as he made friends. He was actually from Denmark, and his name was originally Jens Rosenlau. I can hardly pronounce it, it's kind of a mouthful. Um, but he came over here around the turn of um, 1900s, and he was actually, at that time, he decided he was going to become a count. He came over here and he changed his name and he changed his title to Count uh, Gordon Matzine. In the collection, you will find beautiful works of traditional Asian art that Matzine collected with the help of a friend. We do know that he was in China during the Boxer Rebellion and he met a very important um, government official who hid him from um, some of the different uh, massacres that were going on. And that was the same person who helped him later acquire some of the art that came out of some of the royal palaces. So that's where a lot of the Asian art came from. During his travels, Matzine met a Ponca City couple, the Culkins, who brought him back to Ponca City with them where he lived until his passing. He lived here from 1925 until 1950 when he passed away, and he did have a large number of really close friends here in Ponca City. He had given a large number of his um, art to a university in the late 1930s, and unfortunately they did not put everything out on display, and he was a little bit disappointed because he really felt like he wanted people to have access to art. When he left us the, um, the donation in 1950, it was stipulated in the will, it has to be on the walls all the time. From paintings and photographs to sketches and sculpture, the Matzine Art Collection is full of unique pieces. So you're gonna see a lot of traditional Asian art. Um, you're gonna see some things from the Middle East from about the fourth or fifth century. Um, in the other end of the building, you're gonna see some um, contemporary Western American art. We have a lot of different um, mediums. So for example, we have um, some photography, we have some of the, the Asian portraits that are around are um, like ink on silk. We also have some gouache, um, some watercolor, we have stucco, um, we have some brass, we have some marble, um, we have line of cuts, we have lithographs, we have charcoals, we have oils. So quite a bit of different techniques to look at. Since the art collection is in the Ponca City Library, it is always on display anytime the library is open and it's free to the public. You can also call ahead and get a tour of the collection. We'll set up a personal um, little walking tour or we'll give you our tour booklet and you kind of spend time just looking at the different portraits and pictures and it gives little historical informational stories behind, behind them, gives the time period. Most of the staff, if you ask them what their favorite thing is, they'll be happy to take you to the wall and explain how we acquired it, where it came from. Um, ask, answer questions. So come and take in the beautiful works of art in the Matzine Art Collection at the Ponca City Library and immerse yourself in culture not found in many places. You get to see things here that, I mean, I've seen similar pieces when I go to Chicago, when I've been in London. I mean, I think you really need to appreciate that this is the real deal. It's really quality, beautiful um, art. 